most people agree that Austin needs a plan for smarter development. But where will the funding come from? With grants alone, we're not going to fix what we're trying to do. On March 4th, a cross-section of people from Austin's public and private sectors gathered to develop a strategy for attracting private investors to help the city integrate housing, transportation, and economic opportunity into its growth in an equitable manner. It's called capital absorption, and experts say it takes three things. First, the city has to adopt a set of shared priorities. Somebody in a city has to have gone through the exercise of saying what are the needs, you have to have been in contact enough with the community and engaged enough with the community so that whatever vision comes out is legitimate and authentic and endorsed. Participants began brainstorming those priorities. I would feel a lot better if things were much more tied together. Right, complete communities. Complete communities where everybody felt. Mm -hmm. Right, but that, not, not diversity yeah. with yeah. pockets here. Uh, I it's just the impediments to development that the city puts in front of us so, every single time, and it costs us. So they want to have more choices in where they can live, compare, you know, relative to where they work, how they get to work, those kind of things. Align policies with actions, long-term sustainability, which includes um, the whole ecosystem, the whole organism. Later, participants identified possible pipelines of opportunity for private investments and ways to sustain an enabling environment to keep progress moving forward. The afternoon session was time for participants to develop a plan of action. And ask what are the top five things we could do over the next six to 12 months that would have the most powerful effect on improving capital absorption here in Austin. Working with Code Next in the next six to 12 months we think that is effective. Solidify who this uh, steering committee is, appoint a lead. We talked about maybe identifying a paid consultant. Identifying some sort of spokesman, some sort of public some sort of public figure, Willie Nelson was what we came up with, <laughs> who, could, uh, who, could, who could actually be the voice of some of the things that we decide on. There is no silver bullet on how to make community investment work better. Every city that we've been in is inventing it. You guys have as much creativity as any place we've been, and we would challenge you to invent it in a way that's going to make sense for Austin.